What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show where we discuss everything going on here in our country that you need to know about here on a daily basis. A lot going on here in our country and around the world right now. Some major stuff here, actually. Uh, let's jump right in. Check this out. Also, in this video, I have a special guest appearance for you guys, so make sure to watch all the way to the end for a uh, special guest appearance. The Senate passes the government funding stopgap bill. The House expected to pass it today. This will only keep the government funded for about a month and a half until December 16th, in which they will have to do it all over again. Key note here is that Senator Joe Manchin's permitting bill to push through oil and gas and clean energy permitting in a faster time frame, generally this would make states have to put, push through permitting in a quicker time frame of about one to three years, had to be removed because there was pushback from both Republicans and Democrats on this. Uh, really a lot of, I don't know, good and bad on both sides. Uh, that had to be removed because there just wasn't enough support on this. Take a listen here. This is the Republican point of view. Honestly, I think this might get passed, uh, but there, there's going to be some change on it. A lot of Republicans said that uh, this is payback. But uh, a lot of Republicans actually want to pass something like this because a lot of Republicans are, they want to drill more. They want more oil production to bring the cost of oil down. But here, take a listen. Senator Joe Manchin has pulled his permitting bill from the spending package. Senator John Thune, Republican, South Dakota, joins me now. Mr. Senator, in my opinion, this is a big win for the Greens and a big loss for America. Do you see it that way? We don't, Stuart. As you might expect, we think there was a better way to do this, and the mansion reforms uh, were very limited, and in fact, in many in many ways, sort of moved us away from what we were trying to accomplish in terms of true, meaningful permitting reforms. So there's an effort underway now, which should have started a long time ago, and Joe Manchin has incorporated uh, Shelley Moore Capito, his uh, fellow senator from West Virginia, who has a bill that is true permitting reform that has 50 Republican co-sponsors on it. And I think that they can find a path forward that will enable us to do some meaningful permitting reform, but unfortunately, the Manchin bill did not get us there. If, if, Senator, if the Republicans do retake the House and the Senate, what can you do with the massive tax and spend bill? Can you reverse any of it? Well, my hope would be, Stuart, that if we if we do get the majorities, obviously we're going to reprioritize all the Biden agenda um, items because clearly this is you know we've got an economy that's wobbly. We have a 40-year high inflation. We've got an energy crisis in the country. We've got a border crisis in this country. Uh, we're going to have to literally uh, start from ground zero and do everything we can to reverse some of the harm that's been done through those massive spending bills. And to your point. Uh, you know, the 87,000 new employees at the IRS, for example, is one area where uh, I think a, a Republican Congress, through the power of the purse, through the appropriations process and through the confirmation process, may be able to leverage and, and get the administration, uh, you know, to go back on some of these um, huge new uh, spending programs that they started as a result of those two big spending bills. So we'll be doing everything we can, exercising all the powers we have, knowing that we still have a We'll be dealing with a Democrat president and a veto pen, but believe me, we'll be using all the leverage we have. You've got to give us some hope, Mr. Senator, because we don't. this is a financial program. We're looking at Wall Street. We're looking at the economy. And I don't think there's many people who really want to go into a recession and then raise taxes. That's a, a, no, a disaster. It would be. In fact, I think the thing that we would want to do right away is make permanent the 2017 tax law. A lot of those provisions are expiring. If you want to give investors certainty and predictability, uh, they, it starts there. And then it starts with changing the, the approach to regulation, Stuart. The, the heavy yeah. hand of government that's been imposed by this administration, that needs to be replaced with a, a lighter touch. And, and let's get the incentives out there for investment to increase supply in our economy. And, uh, and hopefully that will start to equalize with demand and we can see inflation start to moderate. But as of right now, uh, yeah, it's a five alarm crisis. And, uh, and we've got to take these, uh, the House and the Senate in November if we're going to turn it around. And at this moment, 
Are you confident that you'll take both the House and the Senate? I am. I am. I just think that people at the end of the day, when they look at these, you know, they're pocketbook voters and the Democrats are trying to change the subject, trying to distract in other areas. But, you know, if you look at the, the border, you look at national security, you look at economic security, you look at energy security, uh, that's the basket of issues that I think American people are focused on. And when they vote, it's going to be very clear the contrast between the two visions for the future of this country. We need a different vision that's good for the economy, good for energy security, uh, good for national security, and uh, the Republicans will provide that. And I think the American people get that. I think they've seen enough of this administration's policies and the effects and results of that, and they're ready for change. So I'm, I'm hopeful, I'm confident, and I think we're going to get it done. Well, there's less than six weeks to go to those elections. Uh, let's see how it turns out. Speaking of financials, the stock market has been getting absolutely crushed here lately. This is a one-month chart of the Dow Jones Industrials, which is a stock index of the most popular stocks here in the U.S. You can see here it's been pretty bad here. It's down about 2,500 points in one month. Really, really bad here. We look at a one-year chart. Here's a one-year chart. Uh, the Dow Jones started... Um, actually, let's do a year-to-date chart. That's, that's probably a better uh time frame here the dow jones started the year at 36800 now it's at 29100 wow what a difference here that means that we're down what is that that's about 7700 points on the dow that's uh, over 20% on the Dow. Now, for comparison, though, last year, uh, the S&P 500 uh, was up 27%. So it gives you a, t a time frame here. When you look at a five-year chart, we're still up pretty significantly from five years ago. So five years ago, the Dow was at 22,800. Now we're at 29,000. I seen a headline here a few days ago that we were at where we were two years ago. So, you know, it's a decent buying opportunity, but we're seeing a lot of fear in the markets right now because of one interest rates rising dramatically. That's really hurting the economy right now and really hurting a lot of people right now. It's making credit card interest rates go up. It's making home interest rates go up. It's making car purchase interest rates go up um, and it's making people buy less. It's slowing down the economy and um, it's going to make actually companies hire less. It's going to make companies lay off people because companies are going to be able to uh, or not be able to borrow money as easily as well. This is going to slow the economy down and make the recession that most people believe we're already in by uh, technical indicators of um, two quarters of GDP growth being negative, we're already in a recession. Okay, That's official. The first two quarters of this year, we have had negative growth for our economy. So if you go by that technical indicator, we're already in a recession. So a lot of, a lot of fear in the market. And then a lot of people are, have been fearful be, because of a potential nuclear war, it, even, even if the U.S. doesn't get involved, if, if Russia uses a nuke on Ukraine, it's, it's going to be terrible for the world, terrible for stock markets, terrible for mankind. And the steps are in motion for that right now. In fact, today, literally just hours ago, Putin officially announced, he just claimed thousands and thousands of miles of Ukraine, just claimed it as part of Russia. This means now that they can defend it with nuclear weapons. This is what they've been saying. This is what Russia is saying. The White House is already responding to this. Here, take a listen. Pat 
House in the Kremlin St. George Hall for a special ceremony which begins the process of formally annexing about 18 percent of Ukraine. This move comes after so-called referenda in four occupied territories in the east. According to pro-Russian officials, voters overwhelmingly supported joining Russia, but the vote widely considered a sham and illegal under international law. Let's Thank listen you. in. Regions, have taken place. The results have been uh, unknown. The people have made their choice, clear choice. Today we are signing an agreement about joining uh, Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republic, Zaporozhye region and Kherson region. I'm uh, sure that our legislative body will approve accepting the four new subjects of the Russian Federation because it is a will of millions of people. And it is, of course, their right. This is their right, which is uh, on, in the first article of the UN uh, statute, uh, which says about the definition of peoples, it is founded on the historical unity of uh, generations of our peoples, those who during centuries was, was building and defending Russia. Suvorov, Rumiansk, and uh, Rumiansev and Ushakov were fighting uh, our grandfathers and great-grandfathers were fighting uh, during the Great Patriotic War. Uh, we will always remember those who did not put up in 2014, who died for their right to speak their uh, language, for the right of preserve their culture to leave the fighters of Donbass. The White House is taking this very seriously. The White House has warned Moscow, Putin, and Russia not to use nuclear weapons. They have been communicating with them. We don't know exactly what the White House and the United States military has said to them, um, but... They're using all communications that they can with Russia. White House says that using them nuclear weapons would be catastrophic for Russia if they use them. And just this morning here, the Biden administration unveils new Russia sanctions in response to the annexations where they just claimed 18% of Ukraine based on these sham elections where Ukrainian people were forced to vote via gunpoint whether they wanted to stay part of Ukraine or become part of Russia. So, I mean, you could let me know your thoughts here on this. And up to 99% of people apparently voted for Russia. And Russia counted the votes. Russian official counted the votes. So, I mean, you can let me know your thoughts on that. It's not like they were uh, counted with Ukrainian and Russian officials. Just Russia counted them. So let me know your thoughts here on this. And uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on new videos. I'll keep you up to date here. And to brighten your day... Here is a special guest appearance, my son Julian. Uh, we've both been sick now. Uh, he's been sick twice now since going to preschool. Uh, but here is uh, my special guest, uh, my son, Hurricane Julian. Uh, he actually got that nickname a few, like a year or two ago, when a, a hurricane named Hur uh, Hurricane Julian came by. And uh, it's kind of stuck with him ever since. A lot of people in the comment section kind of used it and uh because he just never runs out of energy so yeah he's uh kind of <laughs> kind of used that nickname ever since um but yeah here he is let me know your thoughts all right here we are the two sick boys hi 
Did you tell everybody you didn't go to school this week? No. Why don't you tell everybody? Because I'm sick. Yeah. Wah, waka, waka. Yeah. Are you feeling better? Huh? Do you sound better, buddy? Yeah, but yeah, but you 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 go bottom of the chair. You go bottom of the chair. Yeah, let's not play with that. Ha <laughs> ha! I opened that up. I was that. Yeah. Are you feeling a little bit better? Yes. Yeah. Everybody's sick now. But not daddy. Yeah, daddy's sick now too. But not mommy sick. Mommy's doing the best. That's because mommy got her flu shot already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're... Mommy doesn't think it's the flu though. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? You think it's a bed bug? You think it's a bed bug? <laughs> 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 What do you think it was? You think it was a bed bug? Yeah, I think it was a bed bug. Watch, look, look, here comes a bed bug. No, no, stop doing that. Stop doing that, dummy. <laughs> but what about the bed bugs? Are they going to get you? That's what happened. Your bed bugs got me. Ah. All right. All right. No more good, good, good. No more good, 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 good. There was a bad storm in the state called Florida. And they had a real bad storm. Oh. Yeah. What's a real bad? Yeah, it was real bad. What do you want to say to those people? Sorry from Florida people. Yeah, say we, we hope that everybody's safe there. We hope that everybody's safe in Florida. Yeah, yeah. We're in Ohio. <laughs> That's right. Good job, buddy. So we say we hope everybody's doing okay and yeah. God bless you. Yeah, and God bless you. Yeah. And say we we wish that say we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Yeah, Dwayne's already been singing Christmas songs and Halloween songs. Well, yeah. the Halloween uh, he's been watching Halloween cartoons. Halloween, da 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 da, Halloween, da da da, Halloween, da 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 da. Say okay, we love you. Okay, we love you. We'll see you down below. So you can click here to watch our next video. Click here to watch your next video. Say so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. Make sure to subscribe next video. And we'll see you in the next video. We'll see you in the next video. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.